there's a Billy Fury statue. Plenty of flowers left for his birthday, for just over a fortnight ago. It's May the 3rd today. April 17th was his birthday. All the flowers that are being left, although in, in memory of Billy, and they're great, they are damaging the statue a bit at the bottom, it says in the Sound of Fury newsletter this month. So that is, is going to be, uh, I think it is going to be rectified in the summer, as is the, the missing uh, plaque that was here. There's, you've got this one here, but there was another one, another information stand right here. So that's been taken away because it was faded, couldn't read it. So that's going to be done in the summer as well. So we're going to go in the museum of Liverpool because the wondrous gallery was closed when we came in September and uh, there's a uh, little bit I wanted to see in that so we're going oh yeah just have a look I went to the whole museum again we'll just have a look in the wondrous place gallery yeah this is what I wanted to see the wondrous place it's uh, sporting and entertainment celebrities from Liverpool it's amazing when you see how many Billy. There's the Beatles over here. Stephen Graham. <laughs> yeah, so glad they called it. Uh, Wondrous Place Gallery, that's the Billy Fury uh, song. Oh, didn't know Bodhi was from Liverpool. Uh, still a there. Yeah, I wonder why... Uh, why he's named by the Beatles? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if there's any particular order these have been put up. But, well, no, it's no chronological order anyway, is there? All films made on location in Liverpool. Julie Comer. Uh, that's got to be Ken Dodd, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Naughty Ash. Oh, of course, Peaky, Peaky Blinders. So we've been to a couple of places where that was fun. Tobacco Warehouse next to us was some of Peaky Blinders, and we went up, um, up on Power Street, up in up in the dingle where it was filmed, the scenes were filmed as well. It is up Power Street. Doubled as Watery Lane in Peaky's Black, Peaky Blinders. Oh, Power Street, yes, is it? Ziggy from Green Gel. Yeah. I remember him, look, he's from, he's from Liverpool. <laughs> oh, look, telegram from Billy Fury to his mum, Jean, in 1961. Halfway to paradise now, number eight did enemy. Looks great, love Billy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, South Mossley Hill Road, that's the house that Billy bought her. Oh, is it? oh look, that's cool. Look. Billy's, uh, of only which of these songs in the 1950s. Notebook handwritten, no, handwritten lyrics, 1950s, before he was Billy. Still Ronnie, Ronnie Richerly. Letter from Professor Eduardo Palazzi <coughs> to Stuart Sutcliffe's mother, Millie, 1962. I've written before, but... Oh, tells me you may not have received the letter. I'm returning to London. Stuart was a very good boy and worked very hard. I was played by Ill Health when I first arrived in Hamburg. He was still playing with the rock and roll band until the early hours. I did have Billy Fury's guitar here at one point, but uh, I thought that might have been it, but it's Jerry Marsden's guitar, that one. Jerry's. Yeah. 
Yeah, cool. I was just uh, hoping to see Billy Fury's guitar. Okay. Oh yeah, I like Jerry and the Peacemakers. And of course it's going to be... It's going to be mostly Beatles, of course. I think uh, Brian Epstein probably took a leaf out of Colonel Tom Parker's book with all the merchandising, putting the, the name on everything. Mm. Marketing genius at the time, isn't it? Mm. Colonel Tom Parker, he was a, oh, yeah, he was a rogue, uh, he was a rogue, but uh, marketing genius. Everybody's talking about bagism, saga, shagism, dragism, yeah, madism, yeah. ragism, tagism, yeah. thisism, thatism. <laughs> Give peace a chance. That one is. And that one yeah, is. no, it's just it's. And those two are the different ones. Yeah, they they are uh, different suits they wore, but they are the Wool Mohair stage suits, made in 1963. They're quite iconic, aren't they? Those suits. Whether it's a collar collar one or the collarless. Yeah, I like the collarless. Music. Oh, beat the DJ, go on, go, go hard, let's see. Sean Stiles, which Liverpool-born actor is the only one to have appeared in a film with both Elvis Presley and the Beatles, that's Norman Rossington. Which Liverpool soap star had a top 20 hit in 1990 with a song called Just The Side Of Love? Oh God, Kate Robbins, maybe? Nah. Nah. Paul McCartney played the Royal Court in 1979 with which band? Wings, yeah. Oh, oh it is right. Yeah, it is right. Yeah. It was yellow then. Fireman was much later. Which US band had a hit to the song called Going Down to Liverpool? The Bangles. Hmm. Formed by a group of work colleagues, which Liverpool artists had several chart hits in the early 1960s? Uh, Vernon's Girls. Which Liverpool comedian and singer sang the B song in 1937? 37. Uh, oh, that's... Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? 3, yeah. Did I get a prize? I get a prize, no. <laughs> Okay. Oh, God, not even in the top ten. And I found Billy Fury's guitar, it is here. About Not much, but I wanted to see. I wanted to see Billy Fury's guitar. There's not many. There's not many artifacts for Billy. That you see, there's plenty of Beatles, and we've seen, of course, loads of Elvis and Johnny Cash and such. When we've been over the, over to America, but there's not much in the way of Billy Fury. So that's pretty cool. See the guitar and the the notebook there, and they've got a. Karaoke studio here, yeah, we can uh, have a sing song. I don't think I'll go in there. And they've got a good, uh, good Beatles story in the round uh, inside a little theatre here. Yeah. Good Beatles show in the Beatles story, yeah, the good. beginnings and that, in like a 360, yeah. little 360 cinema. Yeah, it's good. But I found the guitar. You are. <laughs> it's that one, is that? Yeah. One up is that? Three. Teen Idol Billy was one of Britain's biggest rock and roll stars and a talented songwriter. Uh huh. Can we can sit by here, look, and uh, listen to Liverpool specific songs. The only one I've heard of is Ferry Cross the Mersey. But... Can we sit there and gaze out at the Mersey.
near the dock. That's a sculpture called Wish You Were Here, which was at the International Garden Festival held in Liverpool in 1984. I know I'm biased, but iconic album covers, glad to see. We've got the Sound of Fury here. Ten inch album. Billy in his gold army suit, a la Elvis. Of course, with the Beatles, it could be any of the album covers, really, couldn't it? As, as iconic. Frankie goes to Hollywood, up with the Pleasure Dome. Most recent big football display, as you might expect, in Liverpool. Liverpool Everton. Oh, and they've. Uh, Honorary mention to Tranmere, just over the other side of the river there. And they've got a film on the loop and they're going, going the game. Is that supposed to be going to the game? Yeah, so. Well, it's, it's well worth coming to this little section and glad we came. So we did the rest of the museum in September, but. Uh, I'm glad we've come back in to do this bit. The, the museum's free. It's a great museum. I just uh, leave a, um, a, don um, a donation at the door. They recommend £5, which is well worth it. Well worth it. Ah, so that's the Liverpool Museum Wondrous Place Gallery. So we've done the rest of the museum another time, so uh, we've, there's a video up of that already, so I just wanted to see the gallery bit, really, wasn't it? It was good. It was very good. I enjoyed it.